Hi, I'm Daniela. As a former model, I learned how to cook vegetable-based dishes. Now I'm living and working behind the camera in sunny Los Angeles, California, where I'm still committed to a healthy diet. Most of my friends are vegan and they love my dishes almost as much they love teasing me about my Romanian accent. I love them and I enjoy cooking for them, but what I really love is showing them how easy it is to make delicious, healthy, vegan dishes in no time at all. So let me show you. Let's cook! Hi, Sagatti! Welcome to Vegan Dishes 365. So glad you are here to join me. So come on in my kitchen and let's cook the most delicious mushroom burger you will ever taste. I promise it will knock the socks off of you. This dish is the perfect choice for the 4th of July celebration with your family and friends. And if you are not here in America and able to celebrate the birth of this beautiful nation with us, I hope that this dish will give you a great start for the summer outdoor cooking season. May God bless America the beautiful and may God bless you too. So now let's very quick look on the main list of ingredients that you need to create this tasty mushroom burger. Of course, the base for this burger are the mushrooms, but not any kind of mushrooms. The mushrooms that take this burger to a whole nother level are the oyster mushrooms. I noticed that in general, the portobello mushroom is the leading ingredient for a mushroom burger, but not in my kitchen. Because I find that the oyster mushrooms gives this delicious, moist flavor and has a soft, chewy bite to it. Next main ingredient is pearl barley. It isn't as nutrition as the whole grain barley, but it's just so much easily digested and the little pearls just stand out so beautiful in the burger. And then all this is being mixed together with a smashed potato. Yes, you hear me right. Smashed potatoes, which holds the mixture tight and gives a chicken egg-like consistency. So this is the main foundation for my mushroom burger. But for the rest of ingredients and directions, scroll below. First, salted the mushrooms and here I have cremini, shiitake and oyster. Let it cook until the mushrooms have sweat off their moisture and that's about 10 minutes. During this time, when the mushrooms are cooking, add the dry thyme, the garlic powder, salt and pepper. And when the mushrooms are almost ready, deglaze with liquid smoke hickory. And if you do not have this ingredient, you can replace it with balsamic vinegar. When the mushrooms are done, just take them off the stove and let it cool. Now add the mushroom mixture to the rest of the ingredients and here in this bowl I have cooked barley, smashed potatoes, yes you hear me right, smashed potatoes and Dijon mustard and if there are other spices you will like, now this is the time to add them. Give this mixture a great mix and then shape into patties. Here next to me, I prepare my grill plate, which I grease with a little bit of oil. When the plate is hot, add the mushroom patties and let it cook on each side until brown, like about 6 to 8 minutes. And now comes the fun part, stack on your favorite burger toppings. Here I have my bun, smeared with vegan butter, a slice of vegan cheese, a slice of fresh tomatoes, and some micro arugula where my mushroom patty will sit on top just nicely. And then one more fresh slice of tomato, and then you can put some ketchup or mustard. Mustard is my favorite. And then place the top bun and savor this delicious dish. Mm. 
Believe me when I tell you, it's super tasty. Easily digested, healthy and vegan. So give it a try, impress family and friends. And please let me know how yours came out. Thank you so much for watching Vegan Dishes 365. Till next time. And please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.